here at the Painted Desert in Arizona. Isn't it gorgeous? It looks like someone just came along with a giant brush and painted the stripes right onto the rock. Also, notice how subdued the colors are, blending into each other so there isn't a sharp edge or outline anywhere. It's all just soft and natural. And do you know the trick to painting soft and blended shades? Don't use paint. That's right. Use powdered makeup like blush and eyeshadow or use pastels. First, rub the individual pastels on a sheet of paper to make a fine powder. Then, blend them to make natural shades for shadow and blush. I like to use a palette knife. Before you try to paint anything on the actual face of the doll, make tests on scraps of the same fabric that you're using for the skin. Keep several of these scraps nearby and test your color, brush size, and technique on them before endangering your doll's face. Remember how much trouble it was to make that face. So practice, practice, practice before you risk ruining the real thing. A little shading is always nice on the sides of the nose and on the eyelids. The fabric will hold the powder and you can rub it in with a Q-tip to get a permanent blush. But for some features like eyes and eyebrows and lips where sharp lines are needed, you'll want to use real paint. Use paint to delineate the eyebrows, eyeliner, nostrils, and lips of the doll. Thin the paint down with a mixture of water and acrylic matte medium. Unless you want the lips to shine. In that case, use gloss medium. Don't use black paint by itself. It's too strong a color for this scale of work. Unless you're doing Malibu, Stacy. Mix a little brown and a touch of white into it for a more natural look. You may want to paint the eyeliner with this color, but lighten it and add a little more brown before using it for eyebrows. You can start with a pencil or use a disappearing marker so your eyebrows will be even. You can erase the pencil later if it shows. Apply the paint in small strokes with a tiny brush for the eyebrows. Don't just thin it with water or it'll bleed into the fabric and make a terrible stain. Always use acrylic medium in equal amounts with water to prevent this from happening. It'll also help to outline the lips with a pencil or marker first. Then fill in the lines with a natural lip color. Tone down bright reds with a little black or brown. And below the upper eyelid, a thin down brown under the ridge will add a natural looking shadow. Carefully paint a light semicircle where the iris should be. Don't use a dark color yet. The upper eyelid should rest just above the pupil, so make the top of the circle disappear under the top lid. If you draw a full circle for the iris, your doll will seem to be staring and in shock, like this. See? Now, outline the irises with a darker shade. Then add a little white to make a half moon shape on one side of the iris. Then paint a pupil in the center of each iris, reaching about one third to one half of the way across. Remember that the upper eyelid should rest on top of the pupil. Now 
Add a little dot of paint, the same color as the fabric skin, only slightly pinker, to the inner corner of each eye. Then, paint in a single highlight in each eye using white paint. Make the highlight on the same side of both eyes, right on but not in the middle of the pupil. When the paint is all thoroughly dry, add a layer of shine to the eyes with acrylic varnish or gloss medium.